all right y'all so we're back with another interesting topic here i think this is going to be a really good topic we're going to have a big conversation about this because i'm sure a lot of people are going to read the title and come here and just be negative so they're not even going to know what's actually going on then you have some people who are actually going to add some valid input down below so also drop drop a thumbs up on the video like obviously this video is going to get a lot of hate because most people just read the title and don't listen to what i'm going to actually say about gajan lancelot and fanny and these type of heroes being a mobile legend so let's just jump right into it and actually discuss this because i think that is very very important and this is a discussion that needs to be had so lately i've been seeing a lot of comments just calling certain heroes terrible like they've been calling like even saying like basically i've heard things like okay this hero is a good hero this hero is not bad i got 30 kills with this hero i got 25 kills with this hero i i, I killed this many people with this hero and that's what we're often seeing and the reason that we're seeing that is because what's most popular in the mobile legends community clips of goshen clips of lancelot clips of fanny clips of a bunch of killers that's basically what gets spread around the mobile legends community so when kids see mobile legends they play mobile legends they want to be recognized for being great players so what are they going to do they're going to look at other great players and what are these other great players recognized for they're usually recognized for getting a lot of kills and i think that these heroes really i mean they're, they're great for mobile legends obviously they're great for mobile legends they're great heroes but I think just throwing a hero out there without any context as to what their role is supposed to be, what their type of jobs and stuff is supposed to be, it, it leaves the community in a place where they have to self-educate. And if they're self-educating themselves the wrong things, that just leaves a bunch of people lost without knowing what to do. So a lot of people don't understand roles. A lot of people don't understand that Gajan, Lancelot, and Fanny, their jobs are not to just go around killing. The reason that they have so many kills is because they are so powerful and also they're the most mobile heroes in the game so when it comes down to actually securing kills and finish them they're the best at it like people hear about marksmen and marksmen how they attack damage carry and stuff like that that doesn't necessarily mean just dropping a bunch of kills that means doing a bunch of damage more than likely if somebody if you drop a bunch of damage and you're a marksman but they get out of your range it's the assassin's job to hunt them down and finish that kill is the assassin's job to secure the kill so more than likely in mobile legends the assassins will always be the ones out slaying everybody but you just have a bunch of people running around thinking that every other class of hero is just bad and you also have a class of people that they don't necessarily think that every hero is bad but the heroes that they think are good they judge that off the amount of kills that you can get with certain heroes like for instance though there was a few comments on yesterday's video when i was talking about franco and we talked about how um franco is pretty much the worst in mobile legends it was a lot of people depending defending franco with the amount of kills that they're able to get with franco not understanding that that's not their job and if they have franco out there doing that job and playing that role that's really bringing down the whole team even though you're getting a lot of kills so you get a lot of kills with franco you do this you do that but he's not doing the role that he was basically designed for he's not really a crowd control hero he's not stunning the entire group even if he can just single out one person that's not as valuable as people being able to like hilos being able to just dive into the whole group damage the entire group stun somebody he can single out a person and stun the entire group and hit his ultimate and chase the group down or or he can make an escape for his team like hilos can do so much compared to franco and everyone says like well it's a lot of people saying oh franco can kill so he's a great hero franco he, if you if you hooking everything if you don't miss hooks and stuff like that he's game changing the people don't even understand the fact that that's a big if if you don't miss hooks and if honestly if you're going against a good team no good team is going to let you hook a marksman no good team is going to do that because a good marksman is not going to get hooked a good marksman will stay out of range of your hooks at all times anyway because a good marksman is on the back lines anyway like pretty much the only time that franco is going to get a hook is if he's hiding in a bush and he catches a marksman off guard and if he's doing that that's something that any assassin could do at the same time if you get caught off guard by a franco you can get caught off guard by an assassin as well so who would you rather catch you off guard a franco or a gajan like so when, when you think about it that way and also think, think about it this way if, if you're a good tank you're going to be standing in front of your marksman the second you see a franco stop look like he's about to hook you're going to step in front of that franco's line of vision so he can't hook your um marksman like literally that's how the game should be played but 
People don't know this because the game has just not been played like this for so long. The game, Mobile Legends is in a state where it's just basically everyone's going for kills, everyone's praising the people who get a bunch of kills, and people are losing true understanding of how to actually play the game, what the game is actually about, and don't get me wrong, like I said, I love to see people just enjoying playing certain heroes, having fun, like playing a la carte and casuals, just going out there, going crazy, getting a bunch of kills, that's great, that's a very, very fun experience, and that's what you're supposed to do in casuals. But the problem is, so many casual type of players are coming into ranked mode and actually moving up the ranks just by completely just killing. And then they, they get they get it in their mind that, okay, I'm killing everybody, I'm carrying the game because I'm killing everybody, so that makes me a good player now. So when they actually get on a good team where every player knows their role, but they're just running around killing or using a hero that just doesn't fit into the team comp, they've always seen themselves as good because they were able to just kill everybody in Mobile Legends because Mobile Legends matchmaking is just random. It pairs you with a bunch of people who can't defend against somebody who's just out there killing. So they don't realize that, no, you're, you're not the best. You, you have a lot to learn. It's not your job to just be out here on a killing spree. I mean, you're talented. You're, you can't take that away from somebody. You're clearly talented. You're good at killing. But it takes more than that to be a competitive player. It takes more than that to be playing into the in this competitive mode. And you shouldn't have been able to get to this rank if you don't know these things already. So I think that all of these things combined, like all these powerful heroes like Gajin, Lancelot, Fanny, I think that all these super strong heroes and then the fact that you're able to use these heroes and just completely destroy everybody all the way through the ranking system, I think that that's a huge problem. That's a huge problem and it's making it, uh, it's giving people false hope because a lot of people, a lot, and this is why a lot of people are so secure, like when they go in YouTube comment sections and stuff like that, they literally can talk trash They, they because they so believe in their minds and in their heart that they're good players because of how many kills that they're capable of getting, not understanding that everything is just not about killing. It's, it's, a, it's a method to how to play a MOBA, it's a method to being a team player. Like, let, let's say... Steph Curry, Let, look at Steph Curry in the NBA. If all he did was shoot, everyone would know he was a talented player, but that's not all that he does. What makes him a, what really makes him a huge threat is the fact that he can do anything. And that's because if all, if all Steph Curry did was shoot, nobody would ever be expecting him to pass. Nobody would ever be expecting him to dribble and cross you over. So if all he could literally do is shoot, all you know, just stand in front of him. He can't do anything if you stand in front of him. But no, he has other skills. He passes the ball very well too. He can he can cross people over. He can go and drive as well. He has all these skill shots. He has all these skills. So you never know what he's going to do. You don't know if he's going to try to kill you in the basket. You don't know if he's going to try to shoot the three. You don't know what he's going to do because he can do everything well. In Mobile Legends, it's like everyone just kills i mean you can kill really well but that doesn't necessarily make you good and when you come across an actual good player who's well-rounded in skills you're probably going to get destroyed that's and then you're going to probably blame the lag or something like that like that's what usually happens in games like mobile Legends. that's what's actually happening in the mobile Legends community it's been going on for a long time because people are just getting this false sense of okay i'm the fucking best simply because mobile legends is just mobile legends is is basically designed in a way right now to make you feel like you're actually better than you are but these are just some of my thoughts man i just wanted to talk to you all about it hear what you all think about that do you agree about this being the current state of mobile legends and how do you like it do you think that it's okay do you think that like because me personally like i said i think that it's definitely okay to have fun and do that in casual when you're playing casually but if you don't know this the goal of mobile legends is to be an esport it's to be an esport is to be a competitive game which means that their ranking system should be really forcing people to actually become solid competitive players because a lot of these kids like and, and honestly i feel bad for the kids because yeah it may be annoying like getting bad teammates and stuff like that and getting destroyed and all that but these kids are really trying to be pro players sometimes they're really trying to and they have the potential but they don't know that they that, that they don't have the rest of what they need to become successful so honestly they're going to be able to slay all these people do all these things and then they're going to wonder why they never make it to the pro level and they're not going to realize all this time you needed to know how to how to pick the right team comp you needed to know how to play multiple heroes you needed to know how to really find the value of heroes and really be a good teammate that's the only way a team will actually want you. Just killing is not enough. So I feel like um, I feel like it needs something needs to change a little bit, man. I feel like something needs to be changed so people can actually 
really learn how to play mobile legends but yeah that's just my thoughts like i said let me know in the comment section down below what do you all think uh, make sure you drop that thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're new for more mobile legends discussions and stuff like this and i'm gonna catch you all on the next one fam peace out yo i'm on it can't fail for my family i want it so they'll never need hope i want it a break just something